right, we're back with some more chocolate in this video. So we found this with the holiday candies. Scaradella. Scaradelli? Scaradelli chocolate sand. Oh, is it the San Francisco treat? <laughs> San Francisco says oh. 1852. We got four flavors. We're going to rate them. Best to worst. But let's get a close up of the flavors that are in this one. They had a couple different ones to choose from. I picked out this one because it had the mint and the caramel. Let's check it out. Leanne, what kind of flavors we got going on in here? Oh, we have raspberry, we have dark mint, we have milk chocolate caramel, and then we have 60% dark chocolate. What was that last one, Leanne? 60% dark chocolate. All right, let's open up one of each. Got some little helpers I think it's blue, right down here. Oh, you can do it. Here comes another little helper. And another little helper. Well, we got one of each out. Now we just got to open them up. I guess I'll just open them one at a time. And Well, this one's already broken, Lynn. Oh, it's ready to go. I guess I should have used the plate after all. Raspberry does have like um. Raspberry pool. Has a raspberry pool right there. I can smell the raspberry. Raspberry flavor is definitely there. It's strong. It is. Blends with the chocolate really well. I think the raspberry tastes more raspberry than chocolate. I do. It's chocolate. overpowering. Chocolate it's like a good. dark chocolate to me. This is like a dark chocolate. It sure tastes like a dark chocolate. Raspberry, raspberry dark chocolate. Very good. Better than I thought it was going to be. I like the dark chocolate taste to it. Messier than I thought it would be also. We didn't notice it. It does say dark chocolate on the label. <laughs> Leanne, pick the next one. This is dark chocolate mint. So, so far, two dark chocolates. That's fine. I love dark chocolate. Right. This is the mint. So will it be like a peppermint patty? Maybe. I was thinking maybe a green mint, but no. Green would be fun. Yeah. Oh, smell it, Liam. It smells like a peppermint patty. Yes. I like this one. This one had like a thinner chocolate bite to it. Yes. Really taste the mint. Mmm. This one could be my favorite one. I'm not sure yet. I gotta try the other two. That has a really good bite, a really good crunch, a really good break to it. Great chocolate, great peppermint. Right. Nothing wrong with that one, Liam. It really can taste the mint. I really like that one. Now the raspberry was better than I thought it was going to be. Right. But Liam, is this one better or worse than the raspberry? What place? They're they're good. They're all good. First or second? I don't know. I haven't decided. They're We're going to rate them here. Keep watching them. We're going to rate them. Next up is, next will be, it says milk chocolate caramel. Oh, that's good. So we're moving away from the dark chocolate and oh my God. Oh, it's already cracked. This is just like that, that Freddo. Did you watch our last UK video where we did a caramel Freddo? Same situation. I don't want to get all sticky because I got to work the camera and the lights and stuff, but oh, oh boy, that's a disaster. What the, how are they all broken? <laughs> the taste is not broken though. No, that's really good. Wow. These are going to be impossible to rate. It is. That's good too. <laughs> As usual, we're going to have to take another a, a break to wash our hands. This one's really sticky. It's really good. Nothing wrong with that one either. That was oh. great. One more. We got the intense dark 60% cocoa. Cocoa. Whatever you want to pronounce it. We've got one that's not broken. Wow. All the ones with filling were broken. This one must not have any filling. I think it's going to be solid. I got to let him break it. He couldn't break it. All right. It's not bad. We've had some um, videos where I don't even think I've posted them yet. Or some dark chocolate was like 90%, and we didn't like it. Right. 60% is not a bad dark chocolate. No. Remember that elephant chocolate? Right. I'll post that video someday. It's not bad. Not bad at all. But the fillings, I don't know if it's better than the filling ones. <laughs> These are impossible to rate. They are. <laughs> We're going to make Leanne go first. I don't know how she's going to do it. I don't know how Leanne's going to do it. Leanne, which one do you think is fourth place? Oh, fourth place. 
Dark chocolate. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking maybe dark chocolate too. Now, third place. Uh, it's a toss up. I think I'll go raspberry. Wow. All right. Second place. Mint. Caramel. First place is caramel. Well, I almost completely agree with Leanne. We're going to put this last place, third place, caramel. Second place, mint. First place. So there you have two opinions. Let's see what the dog thinks and then our final thoughts. We're missing. Oh, I was going to say we're missing Miko. There he, here he comes. Here goes Mr. Miko. Hello. Hello, Nikki. Buddy's hiding behind Miko. He gets nervous around her. Oh, yes. Yeah, she snaps at him sometimes. Oh. Got one more. Oh, give it to Charlie. All right, Leanne. Any final thoughts? I think these are all good. I liked all four of them. This one's like, these are going to be impossible. Almost impossible to rate. That just comes down to personal taste because they're all good. And it'd be great for Christmas parties. Put them in a cute, festive plate. Great, yeah. And also really nice break from Hershey's chocolate because it's not as bitter like Hershey's chocolate. Right. Oh, if you see our, nice taste. our UK chocolate, where we do the UK chocolate, watch that video. That Cadbury chocolate is incredible. This is yes. really good, too. Let us know in the comments below if you have a favorite Ghirardelli kind of chocolate. Because this is bag I grabbed. They had like two other assortments. And I think, I was thinking $10, but we might have paid $15 for this. Like, yeah, maybe? I'll have to look it up. Between $10 and $15. This bag also weighs one pound. So I guess you get a pound of chocolate here. So that's not bad. Comment below. We love comments and we'll reply to you. Thank you and have a good day. Hope you can subscribe.